How far are you willing to go for your passion? There's no limit for one Cambria County native who decided to pack up his life in a van and take his work on the road. Our Maggie Smoka shows us how he's traveling across the country, capturing images of Americans in a unique way. The world is Joseph Wyman Brown's studio. You're going to turn yourself this way a little bit. Face me. People in cities across the nation. Yeah. In towns big and small. Before we come out, definitely hit your mustache a good bit. Are his subjects. Get focus on the eyes. Right there, yep, perfect. Taking pictures. Now this lens is from 1879. Using a process of photography from the 1850s. Take the cap off. Known as tintype. Three, two, one. Is this trade. Yeah. You know, we have the tintypes from back in the 1860s. They're still beautiful today. So that gives a, a hindsight that it will last forever. So these plates will outlive us. So we're making a sheet of film. It's amazing to think how someone back in the day came up with a way to capture a moment in time. But this is going to be your image right here. A moment that will last forever. Yeah, this, this lens is definitely the workhorse of this process. With his antique lens. Keep staring straight. Joseph has just one shot to get everything right. As soon as you walk in, you know you exist. I make sure that, you know, hey, how are you doing? What's your favorite side of your face? He makes the images come to life. And then the picture's gonna invert here to a black and white. The photos can't speak, but look at the eyes. They do all the talking. It's still a mystery to me as far as like, how, how did they figure it out back in the 1800s for this precision sharpness uh, compared to your, like, your digital shots today? We're like, is that blurred? You know. So this is an important element here. For a while. Right there. Photography was just a hobby of Joseph's. It wasn't until he served in Iraq that he started to see its importance. In addition to his job as an infantryman, he soon became the guy with the camera. It turned, ended up turning into like, hey Brown, you're good with the camera. Take pictures while we're out here. Then, a couple years after graduating college, he came up with a crazy idea to sell everything he owned, buy a van, and take his work on the open road. There's a little bit of comfort in uh, uncertainty now, because um, I can wake up and make the day however I wish to be. Whether it's in a new city, I can stop at a coffee shop. You know, I can talk to that one person just happened to be next to me, and that could potentially lead into an, another opportunity. He captures these amazing photos using his pop-up studio that's set up in coffee shops, breweries, barber shops, businesses all across the U.S. I never know how, how long we're going to spend in these spots. Every stop brings new people. That's the best part. And new stories. I was in Asheville, North Carolina during uh, uh, Thanksgiving, and I actually had a th my Thanksgiving meal on top of a mountain with another uh, van dwellers. But a couple months ago, Joseph hit a roadblock. I was in Nashville when uh, my van unfortunately uh, had its mishap. So now I'm back here, building another one.